Joining us for the midweek edition of Sports Express brought to you by MTN. We we'll start off with the international newsreel. Here's Pedro Peter. Thank you, Dito. We'll start off with wrestling. We get the Nigerian Wrestling Federation, NWFA, named a team of 15 wrestlers who will fly the nation's flag at the 2020 African Wrestling Championships, built for Ojas Algeria next month. Top of the list includes Blessing Bro Dudu, Odwayo Hadekunoyi, amongst others. The event will begin on February the 3rd and end on February the 9th. To so tennis, 20 time Grand Slam champion Roger Federer advanced to the semi finals of the Australian Open following a nail biting five set victory over Tennis Sangren of the USA. The 38 year old defied age and logic as he received seven match points, the most in his career to beat Sangren 6 3, 2 6, 2 6, 7 6, 6 3 in 3 hours 28 minutes. Elsewhere, defending champion Novak Djokovic set up a mouth watering last four clash with Roger Federer after defeating Canadian 32nd seed Milos Raonic 6 4, 6 3, 7 6, while Germany's Alexander Zverev took out Stanislas Varenka 1 6, 6 3, 6 4, 6 2. Over to the ladies, Romanian fourth seed Simona Halep eased into the semi finals of the Australian Open after dismantling an ex quarterback of Estonia in Tuesday's quarterfinal clash. The 28 year old needed only 53 minutes to see off Contavite 6 1 6 1 to reach the last four, where she will face Gabin Mogulutsa after the unseeded Spaniard beat Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova of Russia 7 5 6 3. Last week, the result of NBA matches, Milwaukee Bucks took out the Washington Wizards 151 131. Chris Middleton with a career high 51 points, 10 rebounds. Bradley Bill 47.6 rebounds for the Wizards. Boston Celtics beat the Miami Heat 109 101. Philadelphia 76 has defeated the Golden State Warriors 115-104. Phoenix Suns shown over the Dallas Mavericks 133-104. Memphis Grizzlies took out the Denver Nuggets 104-96. Toronto Raptors were too good for the Atlanta Hawks, beating them 130-114. New Orleans Pelicans also beat the Cleveland Cavaliers 125-111. Lastly, Charlotte Hornets took out the New York Knicks 97-92. Thank you very much, Donald. International Newsroom. When we return from the break, the Nigeria Sports Scene. It's the Nigeria Sports Scene on Sports Express brought to you by MTN. Bolu Omoni steps in today. Um, Bolu, we have um, something about the under 17 women's the qualifiers for which competition now? Um, the World Cup. World Cup, okay. Flamingos? Yeah, Flamingos. Okay. The tournament is next year in India, so the qualifier, it has started already. They've, some teams have played the preliminary rounds, but we're up for our levels are not joining them. So they are starting from the first round and they'll be playing um, Guinea. First game is the way at Guinea, then um, to be in March and second leg later. And I think they should do enough to progress to World Cup. And from there, we we'll know if we can bring it home or not. Hmm. Okay, bring. Did you say bring it home? <laughs> in this man has become an Englishman. <laughs> in English, that bring it home. All right. Okay. Um, the story broke. The NFF, this Wagos jersey, is it the new, the new design? The new design, yeah. Uh, to be launched. Yes. In the United States on the fifth of February. Is that that that's the story? Yeah. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with it. I because some of these things are symbolic. You know, you could argue all you like and all of that. For instance, we are launching the Super Eagles jersey in the US. Which media organization is gonna come in? Who are who is going who are the reporters that'll be there to report the event? You know, I do I some, some things we you can you can do a lot of things. You can launch simultaneously in about 10 countries, wherever you like. But there must be a launch in your home country. I don't know, maybe there's something I'm missing, or maybe I'm being too... I don't, I don't know the word to use now. First, when I saw the stories, I was still thinking, okay, waiting for a quote to be attributed to any member of the NFF. Then I saw the quote attributed to Amadou Pinnick, and he said point blank that it will be unveiled on the 5th of February in, the, in New York. And from there, they'll move to London before coming to Nigeria. And I said to myself, this is not the jersey of the US, and neither is it the jersey of England. This is Nigeria. I've seen unveiling of different national teams. They unveil in their country. They can do whatever. You know, that no, country. yeah, you can do activations yeah. across the world. But there must be a ceremony here to unveil the Super Eagles jersey here. The last time it was done in the UK, we said the same thing. Now it's going, it's going over to the US. I'm sorry. I, I think some of these things, is either if you're complex or a situation where you sign contracts that make you feel inferior. Some people were saying maybe Nike is said Nike can Nike insist. Can it is your national team jersey. Should be launched at home. I remember no matter the, how bad it is. At the pre match conference in um, Asaba, when uh, one of the journalists asked after they signed the second deal, that, okay, since the NFF are not willing to tell us the details of this deal, can Nike themselves tell us the details? Um, the story is they collected the mic from them. 
Even even the, the thing is that we have an FOI bill in Nigeria. We can use the Freedom of Information Bill to see. You can't sign a contract and we don't know the figures. It doesn't make sense. It honestly doesn't make sense. These guys are acting as if this thing belongs to them personally or it's their personal business. It does not make sense. If Nike is paying 10 naira, we need, to, need know. to know. Yep. Then it will get to a point where after unveiling in the US, some Nigerians will start making their brand and Nike would have to come out and complain again that the Jesses are not. I think it's more like they are not respecting Nigeria enough. They are not respecting We are not Nigerians respecting enough. ourselves enough. That's the thing. It's not the we it is the way we present ourselves. We are not respecting ourselves enough. And it's I'm sorry to say it's for selfish reasons. We're well, not respecting ourselves enough. We'll still be here when other countries will unveil their jerseys and we'll remind everyone that your national team jersey you are you, you, you're you're launching. Who, 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 which media is going to be there to, to report you that you are launching the Spiegel's jersey in the US? I'll be waiting for the team that will go. Let's move on. After the break, the World Soccer Report. Fact is the World Soccer Report of Sports Express brought to you by MTN. Who are all of you that are making fun of Aston Villa yesterday before the game? <laughs> Some people are harassing body, they are going to get knocked out. Villa are in the final. And it's a final, they likely play Man City. Don't, don't write them off. Don't write them off. Don't, don't write them off. Villa 2, Leicester 1. He and Acho continued his uh, goal scoring form. That was a good goal, though, because it was a difficult take. And he, he, he scored the goal. But Villa exit 2 1, a goal crafted. And from, the, straight from Egypt. Straight, for, yeah, straight, straight from Egypt. And then um, uh, Mohamedi to uh, Trezor. So, so 2 1, Leicester in the, I'm sorry, Villa in the final. Without the final, uh, I was asking would they, would they prefer cup final to Premier League uh, survival? But I guess they'll take whatever they can take for now <laughs> and wait till that time. But uh, that's a tough choice, Vila. though. Very tough choice. You want to, you, you, you want to take both, <laughs> <laughs> but um, good one. They can go into the final with an open mind. Whether it is they meet, whether United or City, or those things with you. This is weather. This is weather. Anyway, like like we always say. You never can say never. Mm. So you have to wait until the match is played. All right. Um, so United play uh, City. City at the Etihad second leg, three one down from, from the first leg. First leg. Uh, it's done. No, no, yeah, I think it's done as well. But hey, we thought it was done with the uh, which team was at PSG. So who knows? Um, okay, in the Copa del Rey, Tenerife and Bilbao battled to a three three draw, but Bilbao went through on penalties by four goals to two. And in the French Cup, Saint Etienne defeated Monaco 1 0, and Belfort defeated Montpellier 5 4 on penalties. Angers lost to Rennes 5 4 on penalties, no 5 4 after extra time. So, today, Premier League, Liverpool played their game in hand uh, against uh, away to West Ham. And well, when you think of teams that could probably stop the Liverpool juggernaut, West Ham, I don't think, comes into the equation. Not anywhere near the equation. <laughs> Uh, but who but knows? West Ham have the, the winners in four. Uh, Liverpool in Paris as usual. Uh, there's, you know, the more you think about it, or the more you want to think about it, you then realize that there's absolutely no chance here. This Liverpool team looks too good to suffer any loss to a team like West Ham, mm. who are also mm. trying to mm. uh, survive. But I expect Liverpool to still roll this thing and extend their their points hold at, at the top of the table. All right, um, and Coppa Italia today as well. Inter play Fiorentina. I think Napoli, Juventus, and Milan. Be really good one. Milan uh, go through to the Scored final. Yesterday. They defeated Torino four two extra right, time. Extra time. Milan haven't lost this year. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Zlatan somehow forget whatever anything anybody said about mm. his age. The man seems to still have it. have an effect. He's been mm. scoring. Changing the uh, atmosphere in the dressing room, inspiring a lot of the young effect. Mm. Huge effect. Interplay for Argentina today, so we could have Napoli, Juventus, and the two Milan teams in the semi final. Right. That would be quite something. In the French Cup, uh, power play PSG, Marseille play Strasbourg. Yeah, I mean, let's go to the transfer trail. And we're <laughs> very interesting story yesterday. It looks like, what was the agent's name? Jose yeah, Mendes well, used Barcelona to force As, United yeah. to <laughs> strategy. Fantastic one, mm. uh, but it just shows you how bad the situation is at uh, Manchester United. That you are in for a player that no other person is competing with you for. You've had oh, history. Maybe has, that's why they felt they could, they could bag him. Look, they could uh, force because you know United have done this a few times. You, you know, well, not not even Rudolf. 
No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is that the 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 difference in the price, both sides, is like five million, ten million. In the current market, I'm sorry, you have to stop out all that money for a goalkeeper and a defender. In the current market, if you want to buy, you want you to buy. To, no, you if you don't want to price. buy, you don't you want to buy. Can. That's the way it is. Unfortunately, I agree with some of the figures that might be over overboard, but hey, that's the situation right now. Situation of the market, you have to play what the market entails. But under a good word, no negotiation is always paid overboard anyway. <laughs> so, so why, why are you stalling now? Is he trying to... Um, He's not trying to pinch pennies now. Mm -hmm. Alright, we will see. Even though they have said that it looks like Bruno Fernandez is coming, we we'll wait till Friday. I will wait till I won't hold, I won't hold my breath. Alright, thank you, Yemi. Well, yeah, something um, special? Very shout out to my son. Today is his sixth birthday. Wow. Adejola Schools at uh, uh, What did you call him? Schools. He's actually named after Paul Schools. Oh, really? <laughs> so I'm hoping that he can. You know, bring the money in. Some of the <laughs> can trans can trans bring the money in. And Thank also, you very much. Uh, big family friend of ours, um, Fumilayo um, Falola, mm. also her birthday today. She's she an will, adult. You know, she uh, should take your son. I'm going to say she should take your son to, for me, to I, go and watch I a movie. Listen, so take please. your son to a movie or something. Do something for, for her please. birthday, mate. Happy Thank birthday you. to the two of you. Before we go, a huge, huge thank you for all of you. I attended the second Dejinubu Memorial Symposium yesterday. It was a huge success. Shola Ekbeku, Chairman, and Tony Gafa, Apollo Wotan, DG, Lagos State Sports Commission for graciously hosting us. Swan Lagos Chapter led by Debo Oshodo for their support all the time. Our guest speaker, Dr. Larry Zamoji, contributor Godwin and Ahena, close friends and associates of DG, all the well wishers that came, and the entire Tinubu family, especially the Jizwa VMC, for the fortitude and dignity they've shown in the last two years under the most difficult circumstances. Thank you all for your presence, and we hope to see you at the third edition next year, by God's grace. My name is DJ Omoto Good morning.